valuable thing that a mentor can do is not so much to influence, but to give permission. What I wanted to do with Miro was to let him recognize that you can do anything with the first chapter. We all want mentors. I still want a mentor, you know. So I hope that's what Miro is getting. It's almost too subtle. I think for a young writer it's very important because there's so much in life that technically makes it difficult for you to persevere as a writer. I thought it was very descriptive, very... So very any help can be tremendous. For someone to give you a hand and say, I'll take this hand and follow me. Also the whole idea about someone writing about one country but living in another country, I could see an affinity and we could talk about that. I think it's very important for me to understand where he comes from and his interest in the culture of Bulgaria. Grandma died of breast cancer in 1989, only a month after communism was abolished in Bulgaria. I was eight, and I remember it very clearly. There is no priest at a communist funeral. Grandpa read from a book, volume 12 of Lenin's collected words. I love listening to or watching craft happen. I mean, that's one of the great pleasures of, you know, working with another writer like Nero. Since the beginning of time, there is only darkness around us. So what do we do? We light a fire, and then suddenly things are revealed. And that's where storytelling comes into place. For me, the act of writing a novel is discovery more than putting down what you already know. Our lives are utterly disordered. The pleasure of having an ordered tale is a wonderful thing. I can recognize aspects of myself, aspects of things I've been through. This is someone who's done it. The comments that he gave me on the opening chapters of the manuscript, how to open it up in different directions, how to be more suggestive as opposed to over-descriptive, were really, really useful in that I could apply them to the 100 pages, but also to the other 300 after that. When he writes in Bulgarian, it's a very different voice and much more excessive than when he writes in English, which is a much stricter, sparser style. I think he was at a stage where I thought I could be useful to him. He was moving from the short story to the novel, so I thought I could have been helpful in that way. To be given this opportunity, to be given someone who stands so tall in a field of giants, it's, it's incredible. Who wouldn't benefit from advice from Michael Ondaatje?